browse yeah. VMware and Google, and then I go to the workstation player link. Player, yeah. And here I press download for free. That's right, yeah. And now we are uh, here. Yeah. Click on the go to downloads you see on the right hand downloads. side. Yeah. And yeah, so we need it for the Windows. So you see the second one. We have we have a workstation there for Windows. Download now. Okay, so this is done. I can go to downloads and I install. The installation is pretty straightforward. Just uh, once it is done, then uh, meanwhile you can show uh, the folder where we have uh, the files, zero to lab files, so we can talk about them. Yeah, so when uh, you join our zero to lab program, you will get two files. One is the ENG uh, client pack, uh, and the second is the OVA file. So the OVA file is your actual ENG, uh, where you will be running all the labs, configuring all the labs. And as you can see that the OVA file actually opens into the workstation. So once a workstation player, so once we are done with the setup of player, uh, we will be able to open that file. And you should also install the EMG Windows Client Pack on your uh, device if it's already not done. Uh, if, you're, if you're a zero to CCI student, I think you already might have done it. If not, then you should install the EMG as well. So now in this one, you can do next. I know. Enhanced uh, yeah. keyboard driver. Yes, but I think this will need a reboot. So we can do it a reboot later. You don't need to do it. Uh, when it asks, you can you can say reboot later. It's fine. Okay. So we'll uh, continue. Yeah. Next, next, next. Install. Yep. And install. We call it the NNNI uh, organization. Next, 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 install organization. <laughs> this is why Windows. Windows is the most popular uh, yeah. company. It's is the is the so is the operating system for end users? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And an I and NF organization. Next, next install or next, next finish. <laughs> Most of the things. On the other hand, you have Linux where everything is a file, and all you do is you manage files. If you know how to manage files, you are good in uh, in, in Linux. <laughs> like in our uh, Juniper program also, we have uh, uh, Radius authentication. So I'm using Linux server as a Radius server. Just have to change few things into a file. No next, next, finish. <laughs> <laughs> and there here, you, go. you can and just click finish. Finish. Without a license. Yeah, no license there. And here I say no. Okay. okay. So now you can see that the zero to lab file, the OVA file, uh, the icon changed because now it is linked to the VMware. So now what, what I want you to do is to install the client pack first. So you can click on the ENG Windows client pack and uh, double click and just install. So this one, I uh, just go a little bit slowly. Uh, yeah, this is good. Except. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, this one, you can uh, uncheck the server and the repeater. Yeah, just the viewer is fine. This will be needed if you want a Linux host or something. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, no, we don't need any of this. You can click next, install. Okay. And now the Wireshark, I think, you can click next. Uh, no, you can just uncheck that and finish. I think now it will install Wireshark. Yeah, okay, next. Agree, okay. Next, uh, yeah, next, 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 all good here. Yeah, this also we need, uh, this we don't need. Okay, let, let, let. 
keep it unchecked just install yeah this is a good way because if somebody doesn't have a client uh, pack installed they can also see what needs to be included what doesn't need to be included uh, I agree uh yeah nothing needs to be checked here just click install i think we are about to be done with the uh, client pack next finish So Windows uh, is also created over Unix, right? So, but Microsoft uh, does a great job hiding it completely mm -hmm. from you. So you don't see any uh, Unix uh, things uh, because it has a shell on it, which is completely Microsoft. Its packaging is very nice. <laughs> All right, next. And finish. Finish. Done. Okay. Right. So now, once you are done with this, I want you to do one thing before we move on. Let's go to the uh, uh, C uh, and uh, system files. Yeah. And then click on the C. Yeah. And uh, program files. And go to the ENG folder. Uh, here you see that it already has putty. But we want to make sure that whenever you click on a device inside ENG, uh, the putty should open, right? So if you see that Windows 10 64 bit putty file, registry file, you can double click on that. This one? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Double click on it. Yes. Click on yes. And click on OK. OK. So now uh, it is already linked with the browser. If you click on the ENG device, it will open the putty session. So you can close this window now. And now comes the OVA, right? So for OVA, you can either go to the VMware and open this file, G GTL file, or you can double click on the file from right from here, and it will be imported into, OV uh, into VMware. So you can double click on it. And let's wait for it. Uh, yeah, the first option, continue. Finish. All right, there you go. So you need, need to give it a name, so you can give it like zero to lab, uh, whatever the name you like. All right, import. So we just need to wait now until the file is imported. So this will have uh, ENG with all the necessary labs or topologies that we will be using in our labs, right? So mostly we will use the base topology, but then there are other topologies for specific topics like CDP, LLDP has a different topology. Uh, I think uh, switch MAC address uh, layer two is, is stuff also has a separate topology. So that is something you already might have seen or will see into uh, some of the recorded sessions also when, when we go through that. So let's just wait for it. And I believe you are going to provide, uh, Christian, you are going to give them uh, the recordings of our sessions as well, at least up to the layer two part we did. Yes. So they will have uh, um, an overview about what we did uh, in yeah. the beta version so that they can see um, the experience right. at the beginning right. before deciding to make it public. Got it. Got it. So, yeah, they're, they're also they will see uh, the how we use these labs so similar labs will be there uh you're running this virtual machine with side channel da, 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 da. just click okay yeah so that should be fine let's just wait for it to boot there you go the glorious eu next generation is there which is going to create the next generations of uh uh engineers so 192 0.322 let's open this ip into the browser so uh, you just go to yeah one at one sixty eight uh, zero dot triple two. So whatever IP you see there, you have to open it. the The username is admin, and the password is there right there in the front of you eu eve, and sign in. There you go. Right. So as you can see that we have these different labs. Uh, and from this point onward, you are all set. You can actually join the class and then whatever uh, the lab I do, you can also follow the lab. So for example, just to give you an example, you have base lab, 
and then we have cdp eta channel specific labs which are uh, or topologies which i'll tell you in different labs which we do so let's say if we start uh, mst then i will tell you open the mst lab one to perform this topic like this or open the stp lab two like this right uh, for the timing can you click on base lab yeah and click on open so this is our base lab right so let's see if you can open start them or not or if everything is working fine so you can go on the left hand side more actions and start all nodes of course you can right click on every node and start as well individually if you want okay so everything is started let's click on r1 simple left click yeah open ssh telnet and our login client yep so you can see now thanks to the windows client pack now it is linked to the putty press enter and see if you can get to the prompt yep enable and show ip interface brief yep everything is there so the pre-configuration is there <clears throat> ip addressing and all but of course routing is not there that's what we will do <clears throat> when we start the uh, labs so yeah good to go i think uh, you can also ping 12002 to see if the reachability is there to router 2 yep all good so that's it that's how you set up zero to lab and uh, i hope uh, christian and i are helpful to you in this particular part which is pretty straightforward so i think you might already have done it but if not then you can watch this video and uh, get the idea if you have any other issues of course uh, feel free to get in touch as well <laughs> perfect thank you very much all right thanks